Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. A prominent leader of Myanmar's pro-democracy protesters is on the brink of facing a 28-year sentence if found guilty of all five criminal charges against him, including murder, unlawful assembly, abduction with intent to murder, and incitement. 26-year-old Wai Mo Nang, who is affectionately called Panda of Monya, was arrested and taken to a military base by the junta after he was hit by a car on the 15th, and a photo of him badly injured or allegedly tortured with his hands tied behind his back went viral afterwards with fears for his safety growing. The country's military regime has laid charges against 42 people from the Saigang region town of Monyue, including four minors who were detained during its crackdown. The main opposition People Power Party is set to propose a bill aimed at reducing the income tax of medical staff and related officials that have been at the front lines against the COVID-19 pandemic. If they are recognized as having worked at least 180 days in the past year on business related to the pandemic, they will be eligible to receive up to 100% reduction in their income taxes. The PPP revealed that they decide to take this additional initiative to make up for the lack of benefits for medical staff and civil servants under the government's coronavirus relief funds. The Korea Communications Commission has determined its best practices of proactive administration of the first half of 2021 and having 130 million won a child sent to an online content creator as a gift returned to the child was selected as the best practice. Last November, a grade school student sponsored an online creator with the family's rent down payment, but due to insufficient legal grounds and the service provider being a Japanese business, it was difficult to have the money returned. However, the KCC helped to successfully complete the return in three days by convincing the domestic affiliate and pushed ahead with revision of the Telecommunications Business Act. Finally, Tesla CEO and tech billionaire Elon Musk will host NBC's Saturday Night Live May 8th local time with Miley Cyrus joining him as musical guest. Musk announced the news on his Twitter right after the successful docking of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket with the International Space Station. The Wall Street Journal pointed out it's atypical of entrepreneurs to host SNL, but explained it's not without precedent as ex-president Donald Trump hosted the show twice in 2004 and 2015 when he was running as the Republican presidential candidate. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you will also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, we get some expert analysis on the feasibility of the U.S.'s plan to roll out a COVID-19 booster shot and also discuss the expected impacts of the current global vaccine supply shortage.